Boom! What is up, Wanderers? We are back with another One Take Bag Review, and I am hyped because it's been well over a week, and if you're new to the channel, I try to drop at least two bag reviews every single week, but I had my power out after a big windstorm came through. But I'm back, and I've got something really cool to review today. It is the Sidekeep RDX from Green Room 136. Let's get started. You know what we do on this channel. We do one take bag reviews, and we're gonna go through the complete exterior of this bag, then we're gonna talk about the interior, get into all the nooks and crannies, and then we're gonna talk about two things we love about this bag, two things, not so much, and then an overall recommendation. Should you get your hands on the Sidekeep RDX from Green Room 136, Let's dig in. Okay, so this is a cool little, we'll call it a crossbody bag, um, even though it is more of a, oh, I don't even know what you would call it. Looks like a camera bag, doesn't it? Like an old school camera bag? But it is crossbody. You wear it crossbody style. You just toss the um, strap over your shoulder and carry it like so. We'll get into other kind of ways to carry this bag here in a little bit. But yeah, I like it. It's unique. It's cool looking for sure. Um, exterior wise, this is a really nice Cordura material, really well made as with every Green Room 136 product, YKK zippers. You've got hook and loop panel down here for the morale patches. I'm big on my morale patches, so that made me happy. Um, you've got, uh, I think this bag comes in four or five different colors right now. I prefer the green. I think it's pretty sweet looking. Um, love how it looks. Up top, you've got a really beefy grab handle and then the strap itself is you can see a cool seat belt material. Very nice, top of the line. And then you've got a really nice buckle down here. Um, nothing fancy like fid locks or anything. You don't need anything like that on this bag. It does swivel and pivot, which is very important in this kind of carry style, which means that you don't have to fuss with every time you put it on. Did I get it exactly right? Did I get it twisted, etc.? The whole thing will untwist on its own, um, which is really cool. All right. So you also have the um, Green Room 136 logo right here, and then a small tasteful logo right here on the seatbelt strap. Um, so looks really good. I, you will notice I added some zipper pulls. This does not come with zipper pulls. Um, you can get those from Green Room. I get them from Amazon. Uh, like how this feels in my hand, um, and these are like seven bucks for a dozen of them, or even less than that sometimes on sale with some coupons. So I'll put the link to the bag, of course, but also to zipper pulls um, in case you need some for your bags in the video description, as always. Okay, let's talk about the interior. <clears throat> One of my favorite things about Green Room 136 as a maker is the interior of their bags. Really well thought out, really well laid out. The Sidekeep RDX. By the way, I don't know what RDX stands for. Hmm. The Sidekeep RDX is, is no different. It's got a ton of useful pockets. Let's open this thing up on the front. All right, now this is gonna be a little tough to show you, but you can see right off the bat that this is the gold interior that you're used to in Green Room 136 products. You do have a key leash right here. I use my key leashes for my AirPods more often than not. I keep my AirPods in a wander case. What's a wander case? You can get a wander case at bitofastore.com. That's my wander case for my AirPods. So attached to my key leash. And then you've got two pockets in here and then the front drop pocket. So let's try and show you here. Two pockets. First pocket is wallet size. So I've got my donut wallet in there from Blank Canvas Accessories and then tossed a Sharpie in there because you can always use a Sharpie. And then you've got another pocket that is pocket knife sized, right? So Kershaw knives, that's what I carry. Really nice in here. And then in the front section, I've just tossed in some lip balm, some Neosporin. But you can see really useful pocket up front. Good dimension to it. Sticks out from the main compartment here poofy and it's got those two interior pockets in the key leash. Gold high contrast interior, beautiful. We like that high contrast interior, but we, what we like even more is eggplant corduroy. Hashtag eggplant corduroy, right? Um, yeah, that's beautiful. Look at that. So on most of the Rainmakers, they put the tech compartment. Um, Rainmaker is a big backpack from Green Room 136. 
but the tech compartment is corduroy, which I think is such a cool touch. Totally underrated, totally amazing material, super soft. Got my backup phone in there, and I've got my blue light blocking glasses in there. This actually could fit an iPad mini or a Kindle. So you've got a really nice tech compartment that could fit an iPad mini or a Kindle. Uh, I did not test it with an iPad mini because I do not have an iPad mini. Um, if you'd like to send me an iPad mini, let me know. All right, then you've got the main compartment, the main event. So what's going on in here? There's a lot. You've got the main compartment, then a pocket on this side and a pocket on this side. So three sections. In the front pocket, I've got just some electronic doodads, including a big giant power brick and a cord, pins, some first aid supplies. You could put a first aid kit in there. I've got some sanitizer. I've got my gimbal, boom. And then in the back, I've got a wallet. All right, so you can see in here, pocket on the back, not not super padded, like this is not a tablet pocket. You could put a tablet in there. It's not protected like that. You could very easily put a Nintendo Switch into this with no problem. You could even drop that Nintendo Switch in its case in one of the pockets. No problem. There's tons of room in this thing. It is, I mean, larger size than expected when I ordered it, and it's really nice. Let's talk about a couple of other things. So first off, when Green Room launched this, they also launched a cool little bag called the Ronin Sparrow. The coolest names, right? Rainmaker, Metromonger, Ronin Sparrow, Sidekeep. Ronin Sparrow, cool. Look at this, it's a little EDC pouch, multi-tool knife, front on here, AirPods, poke a pin. So really cool little EDC pouch from Green Room 136. And if you bought both, it could drop in there easily or bonus points, it's got this on the back. Check that out. And it can drop onto any strap. I found in practical terms that I did not like carrying the Ronin Sparrow on the side keep in this fashion, but I did enjoy just dropping the Ronin Sparrow into the side keep. Although it did take up a good chunk of room, it fit very nicely and still my other accessories would fit in here with no problem. So it's a cool EDC organizer. Both of these bags kind of released at the same time. We're not reviewing this one, but it's totally cool, really nice, well-made. We are reviewing this one. So, the Sidekeep. Two things we love about this bag. Well, I think you're, you probably know where I'm going first with the first thing that I love about this bag. The first thing that I love about this bag, hashtag eggplant corduroy. I love it, it's beautiful. It's a very useful tech pocket too. And it's on the front instead of on the back. Yeah, really, really useful. Toss a phone in there. Toss an iPad mini in there, and it's exactly the right size, and it's super cushioned and very plush, and it's also purple corduroy, which is completely badass. All right, second thing we love about this bag. I really, really love the layout of the pockets. It's not too much. There's no zippers, it's slip pockets. The whole thing is, you know, so damn useful, like really useful, pretty amazing. So. Love the top pocket on here, love the middle pocket. Uh, the whole thing is well built as usual from Green Room and really, really thoughtfully laid out. Very useful. Uh, I carried this for a week solid and it was the only bag I carried, which was really tough for me because usually I carry my iPad with me. That's a, a tablet based carry usually. I didn't take my iPad, I took two phones, my Pro Max and my regular iPhone instead. Uh, it was really liberating enjoyed carrying this size of bag. Another interesting thing about this bag that I found, you just pop the strap off the bag. Just two clips, easy peasy, right? 
And this can be very easily a great just bag within a bag that you drop into, you know, a rainmaker, toss it right down in there. Really, any bag, this can be a bag within a bag that is a really cool organizer. And because of its top handle, really easy to just pull right out of the bag. So uh, it's either a great crossbody bag or potentially it's a great tech bag that you can toss into your other bag and just grab to you know go to the coffee shop, leave your backpack in the truck, that kind of thing. Yeah, really, really nice. Love this bag, love the form factor, love the shape. Two things I don't like as much about the bag. Well, the first one you can probably guess. I think it should come with something more on the zippers. You shouldn't have to purchase the extra paracord zipper poles. Yeah, I think it should come with them. It's a $60-ish bag. Um, so I think you're getting a lot for the money. I mean, to be honest, a lot for the money. But I don't like just naked zippers when I order a bag like this. Not a giant deal. Uh, again, they're super cheap. Now, the other thing isn't quite as nitpicky. The other thing is more of a concern for me, and it actually did influence my enjoyment of the bag just a little. And that is, look at where this grab handle is located. So the grab handle is located on the very back of the bag, okay? And see what happens when I pick up the bag? Swoom, swing. And when it's loaded, that swing is even more pronounced, okay? Especially if you've got anything heavy at all in the front pocket. So it's just a little bit, it affects the use, not the usability, the user experience with the bag just a little bit. And my, the, the handle itself started to get little creases. Again, it's not gonna break, it's, it's a beefy, beefy handle. But I don't know, it, it seems to me that if they had moved the handle to right here, it would have been a little bit more balanced. Now, would that have ruined the way the bag carries? I don't think so. I tried it out and I tried to kind of think about if the, bat, if the handles were an inch in towards the middle, would it carry uncomfortably as a crossbody bag? I don't think so. Um, but I could be wrong, they probably tested it. Uh, but to me, that was a little bit weird. And uh, honest truth, I, I love carrying this as a crossbody, but even when I was walking around like inside a gym, inside an office, inside a coffee shop, I found myself just grabbing the bag. It, it is so nice to carry as a bag. All right, that's it. Two things we love about the bag, the tech compartment, which is hashtag eggplant corduroy, and then the layout of the other pockets um, along with the form factor. The other piece, um, I wish it came standard with zipper pulls. And then um, again, the, the grab handle being at the back of the bag instead of a little bit more centered causes the bag to be a little bit off kilter gravity wise, um, but you know, no big deal. So should you buy this bag? 60 bucks, 60 bucks for a side keep. Yeah, it's a no brainer. This bag is great. Um, the Ronin Sparrow, you know, maybe not everybody's cup of tea. Uh, it, it holds a lot, but it's not as much storage as some other EDC kind of carriers this size. Um, your call. But this one, yeah, I, I really enjoyed carrying this. Um, and which is interesting for me because usually I prefer a crossbody bag to sling over my back, but it was kind of nice to have this kind of riding at my side. I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you check out the side keep from Green Room 136. If you snag one, please let me know. Let me know what you think of the bag. Let me know if you use it as much as I think I'm going to use this one. Um, and as always, everybody, thank you for watching the channel. Very, very much appreciate it and uh, appreciate all the support that you all give uh, and all the best ideas and the bag ideas to go, you know, what should I review next? It's really cool of you. Thanks everybody, we will. See you next time. Bye for now.